So today we are training um, Bashir and the Cublot for voluntary blood, or blood draws um, through the tail. And it does take um, anywhere from a couple days to even a couple months or sometimes even a couple years um, for training behavior depending on what the particular behavior is. Um, this one where we were able to get him facing away from me and positioning him just right to scoop his tail out safely um, just took um, a few months I would say. Um, and then we're trying to shape it up um, so the behaviors are more precise and it actually takes less time than about five minutes. So um, we'd like it to be quick and easy and painless for everybody involved. Um, so we just work with small approximations. Um, first, we have to get him comfortable going up there to us. We have to get him comfortable uh, going away from me and focusing on Kyle, who is in charge of directing his head to make sure it's safe so I can pull his tail out. And then we have to make sure he's comfortable with me um, grabbing his tail with a snake hook first and then moving on to me physically touching his tail and then moving all the way up to the base of his tail. Um, and then we gradually start with um, pressure with my fingertips and then we go with a paper clip and then we slowly move up to a 27 gauge needle up to a 25 and then a 22 gauge needle which is what we did today. Um, and that's the highest we'll go with him. Um, and it just takes some um, approximations for him to be comfortable. And we listen to what he says. If he twitches or flinches or even gets up and walks away from us, um, that's a sign that he is not comfortable with whatever we just did. So we either keep trying that until he is comfortable or we take it down a notch and go back to the behavior uh, that we worked on previously. Um, so with most of the behaviors, we try to train with um, all of our animals here at the zoo. Um, most of them are for medical procedures. Just in case these guys were ever sick or injured, um, it's a good way for us to get up close and personal and check out their body and make sure everything's looking okay. Um, what a lot of people don't realize is we are trying to train them for voluntary participation. Um, we do not want to knock them down or anesthetize them um, for a simple routine such as gathering blood to do some tests or anything like that. So the more that we can train them uh, to participate, participate voluntarily, the better. Um, so far I would say Bash has been the best with training. I guess he stays a little bit more focused. Um, but we recently got blood from Tan last week and that really surprised me. It was my first time drawing the blood from the vein, so I was very excited. Um, so Bash and Tan are all the way up to a 22 gauge needle, which um, like I said is where I want them to be um, needle wise. So they are both basically, um, they've got that behavior trained. We're just going to try to shape it up and make sure it's a little bit more smooth for everybody involved. Um, Aria is about halfway there. She's still a little bit more um, timid. Our tigers definitely know their keepers both by um, our facial expressions or the way we look and talk and they see us and they know that that means food. Um, but it's all about building up duration and approximation and building that trust so I am able to scoop his tail out safely and we are able to poke them with needles safely. Um, one, they let us do this because they know us and two, we do reward them or motivate them with special treats to get them to come over. It's not like they want to come over and hang out with us.